Okay, so we're Whoa. at gold. Are, are we recording? We're recording. Should I start it? Can gold. I start it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we're doing something. With me? This was Matt's idea. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm recording. Hey, everybody. Welcome to WMS Gold. We're going to see if we can get it up to platinum today. What? You know, folks, a lot of people may wonder what happens when you watch 30 WrestleManias in the span of about two and a half weeks. Well, ask yourself that question no longer because we are going to ask Sorgatron. Sorgatron, are you okay? What? Yes. Are you okay what? from watching your 30 WrestleManias? And how many? How long did it take for you to get WrestleMania? Hold on, hold on. How long Matt, did Matt. it take? How long did this take, Sorg, for you to watch all these WrestleMania? Well, here's how this started. Um, I was sitting there at the last pay per view party, Fastlane, um, and they did the. Uh, it's like 34 days to WrestleMania, and it hit me. I was like, "There's like 30 WrestleManias." There is 30 WrestleManias. There's like 30. <laughs> there's like 30 WrestleManias. <laughs> Well, now, now there's 31 WrestleManias. Now there's, there's like there's kind of like 30 yeah. WrestleManias now, <laughs> and I just like I kind of like it hit me. It's like I'm gonna watch all the WrestleManias. I could watch like one a day, and that's like four days extra. I'll be fine. One <laughs> 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 day vitamins. For <laughs> Sorg, I, I want you to start a special podcast called Sorg Does Math. <laughs> <laughs> um. No. So, so, so how long? How long did it take? So no, like a it? month. Like, seriously, like, like thirty, month. like really, like thirty-four days. I started like that Tuesday, and queued up the first one, you know. And of were course, you, hmm? were you close to breaking? Were you? Did you hit a point at any point during your journey where you're like, you know what? F this. I'm not watching all these damn WrestleManias. Ah, uh, boy. I need a break, damn it. It wasn't a break. It wasn't a. Uh, do I really have to do this? It's a. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. You know, um, I, I, I had faith in you. Sir. When I hit around like WrestleMania 16, 17, when it was like four, started being four hours again, because it was only three hours. It was like a regular pay per view, uh, mm-hmm. like for most of the mid 90s, right? And that's when I'm like, I just started doing the math in my head, and I'm like, I don't know if I can do this. I still don't understand looking from the beginning of that last week to sitting there. Watching the last two hours of WrestleMania 30 after RWA <laughs> early, early Sunday morning, um, and still wanting to wake up in a few hours and watch the Hall of Fame, uh, I still can't believe I did that. And, uh, I, uh, you know, thankfully, I haven't had much work this month. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, so Sorg, there was that. I, I, have, I have a question. Hmm. I have a question about. Do you have a Pavlovian response to the two-word phrase "big time"? No, but it came back <laughs> a, a little bit. It was like, oh no, it's the big time year, you know. Um, but no, the biggest thing was watching it from year to year. You really saw the constant evolution of WWE, you know, and especially in the past 10, 15 years, where I think the evolution has been slow. You know, like there is a certain style and look at WWE that really hasn't changed in like 10 years and like oh we're on cruise now but even in that kind of looking at things like what are they doing with this title okay they gave these guys a three way okay Cena's with these guys you know this isn't the top thing this is your Undertaker was on top with Shawn Michaels this is your Undertaker was on top with Batista you know uh, you know the year that uh Chris Jericho and Triple Triple H really got overshadowed at the top of the card with uh, Rock and uh, Rock and Hogan in the middle, you know, um, and, and also kind of building in my head like what was the storyline going in and out of it? Like, oh, this is before this happened and after that happened, you know. Um, and watch Brock Lesnar win his first WrestleMania and be like, hey, Zach Gowan worked with that guy, um, you know, stuff like that, <laughs> like weird little things like that, or even like watching a lot of these and be like. Wow, I've done a show with those guys, you know, especially the legend show guys, right? Um, that's that's really, or, or we've had them on the podcast, you know, and, and kind of seeing that history and uh, forgetting completely for like three or four consecutive WrestleManias that Jesse Ventura was just announced and posed for the crowd from wherever he was for no reason <laughs> whatsoever, but it was awesome. Um, and watching the friendship 
yet anger between Ventura and Gorilla <laughs> over the years. Or noticing the same phrases that were said from year to year. <laughs> um, you know, was there a, um, was there an awesome thing or two that you had completely forgotten about that you were like, oh, oh, I'm sure there were, but I think I forgot about them again already. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, the cool thing was watching WrestleMania 29 in its entirety for the first time and not in the stands because yeah. I hadn't. I bought the DVD. And all I watched was the Hall of Fame uh, ceremony. <laughs> I, I just had never gotten to it. And then WWE Network came out like a few months later. I'm like, well, why the fuck am I going to do that now? You know? Because um, that was, yeah, that was the year like Mick Foley and Bruno were um, inducted. So I'm like, oh, I got I to gotta get this one. Sorg, um, what was your favorite WrestleMania set? Set? Yeah, like a set. Like the uh, entrance, ent- entrance area. They got so ridiculous over a few years there. Um, what was the year? I it's I don't know. It's got to be New York. It's got to be okay. twenty nine. I I thought that was the most. And they did so much with that. The giant statue of liberty, you know. And and, and I, I thought it came off, you know, like as amazing uh, on TV too, you know. Um, and I don't know. Maybe I am skewed because that's the one I went to, but. Uh, uh, but but just seeing absolutely ridiculous how big these sets have gotten since like WrestleMania twenty five no six probably. Um, this year's was kind of weak. Twenty six was massive, so I yeah, think. just like just these giant incredible things that they're building here for one thing in a year. Um, I'm also wondering. I feel like they edited out uh, Ultimo Dragon slipping on the entrance that one year. Probably, probably. that was at twenty. Was at twenty. Cause like yeah. a song came out, I'm like, wait, I didn't see the thing, you know. Um, I hate stuff like that in the in the in the crowd pull away from uh, Mickey James making her little <laughs> gesture, you know. Oh, that was the cool thing, and this is this is a really cool thing that ha- started happening because I started doing that, and then people started responding. Because I found myself, especially since like probably WrestleMania 22 or so, like remembering where I was when I watched them. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. like I remember that Mickey James Trish match and being in Chad. I think it was Chad the Chad dorm over the Art Institute. You know, uh, and and everybody's there it was early Mayhem days. I think, I think, I think. Yeah, yeah it had to, it had to have been, um, and, uh, and, and you know that kind of stuff. And certain those starting to pop up. And remembering uh, WrestleMania 2000 when I invited everybody over to to my dad's house and we watched WrestleMania all day long. And it was mo- it was incredible. <laughs> and that's the that's the year that. That uh, Chachi and I would just randomly start yelling WrestleMania, uh, which we didn't do this year, which made me sad that I, I remember that like driving home. I'm like, we didn't do the thing, um, mm. but uh, or even just like chatting it in caps to each other. So, um, but no. Uh, Sork, which um, WrestleMania was the toughest one to get through? The one with. The Iron Man match. Yeah. Yeah. Twelve. Yeah. Eleven and twelve were the hardest. Yeah, I could see that. Eleven and twelve were mostly just no good. Even thirteen was tough. Uh, I was talking to Joe Dombrowski going into this uh, after the, uh, after the Clearfield show, and he's like, he's like, yeah, thirteen is hot garbage except for that Bret Hart and Stone Cold match. And I'm like, yeah, mm-hmm. mostly. I mean, it wasn't that bad, but it was 13 still... was like the transition right before they really changed it. That, yeah, that's the thing. You're just like, you see where everything's going. And you're like, okay, okay. Then again, that kind of evolution thing. And then you hit like WrestleMania 14. And it was like, yes, here we go. You know, and you're starting to see the promos of like the Attitude Era promos. Yo, know, the I'm an athlete, you know, from Undertaker and stuff like that. Um, the Freddie Blassie promos talking about because there was, even going I into attitude, promos. yeah, even going into attitude era, there was still such a respect for what used to be that I forgot about, you know, for how different it became. There's still that, you know, we were yeah. this, we were this, now we're this, fuck you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think they need to change. The then now forever to that. This is <laughs> we're this, we're that. Now we're, now this. we're this. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, sorry, I got a question. Okay. Uh, in your opinion, what do you think was the is the most overrated WrestleMania match? Overrated WrestleMania match? Yeah. yeah. You can do under. You can oh, do yeah. under- dirty stuff. Well, you can do underrated and overrated. 
but no, I want to hear overrated first. I like it. Overrated it. is definitely the first main event. Oh really? Okay. I think I always thought that. I was I, like, even when I used to read the tape, it's like, what the fuck is this? Um, <laughs> but there was kind of a a hey, this was as big as it got at the time, and. We are all so used to Arnold Schwarzenegger and Ronda Rousey popping up. Oh, man, you know. But and we look back, and I, was, I think this was the comment I had early on when I did that. And I'm thinking of Eamon on this one and some of the other youngins out there. Uh, you know, there's like, you know, they had these people on there, and you're like, who is this guy? Who's who's Liberace and uh, uh, Mr. Baseball? And uh, who, is the, who is the Yankees guy that was on that first one? That was like the Billy Ravens. Martin. Billy, Billy Martin. Like, who the fuck's Billy Martin? Like, I think as a kid, I'm like, who the fuck's Billy Martin? Why do I care? But Thank realizing you, that's the equivalent of having your Ronda Rousey and Arnold and and well, we Kid Rock and all this stuff I think today. WrestleMania 2 was the worst of awful celebrity stuff. Right, but even that, you know. <laughs> I mean, you had Elvira, you had the where's the beef old woman. Like, yeah, where's the beef? <laughs> she was huge back in the day. <sighs> she was everywhere. I remember that. <laughs> Man, I remember like years afterwards we would always like tape all the Christmas specials so we can watch them whenever we wanted. And there would always be like the old Wendy's commercial. Where's the beef? Where's um, the beef? But uh, I remember they had pins. They do. They Where's the beef? Pins? We didn't have a Wendy's around. It was a special occasion to go to a Wendy's Church. and their weird square burgers. But. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not natural, which are normal right now. They're they're delicious though. They are delicious. Have you get, can you think of an underrated one? Underrated. Wendy's burgers. Wendy's burgers. Underrated, underrated. square burgers. Underrated square burgers. Um, jeez, jeez. <laughs> or how about an underrated WrestleMania performer? Perf- I jeez, it, that's a lot. I don't even. Know where <laughs> to go. Well, no, I mean, it like, seems like, that it seems like perhaps you consume so much WrestleMania that you're overwhelmed and you have, you're, you're overwhelmed by the sheer All volume the of data. And, and you're signs. unable to process what you saw. And the limp- like someone like Tito Santana That's in the first nine manias. And the Limp Biscuit performances. And <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite musical WWE's favorite What's band? What's your favorite musical oh, performance? Oh, yes. Can we, I got so sick of the one WrestleMania where they kept announcing Limp Biscuit as WWE's favorite band in the whole world, like in the whole in the whole wide world, you know, it's just like what the fuck are we way doing? To, way to make Metallica feel like a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you, or Metallica. Sure, I'm sure Lemmy was pissed. Yeah. <laughs> so I got a question. Yes. What was your favorite blindfold match from WrestleMania? <laughs> Greatest question. All right, there's a hey. You know what? There's an underrated match. Really? Yeah. I think I, I, I think the blindfold match is not as bad as everybody makes it up to be. I think everybody's attempt at the blindfold match since, including the one I saw at VOW a couple months ago, fucking horrible. Well, th- you can't do a blindfold match now with with modern crowds. No, no, cause you cannot, because they're not. Everybody kind of figures out what's going on. But uh, no, I thought the psychology of it was pretty fun. Hmm. Because if you put like Roman Reigns in a blindfold match, they the crowd would cheer for him, and he would dive his head into the fucking turnbuckle. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't get. I just don't get the concept of like to attract like wrestling fans being like, we're gonna make a match that inhibits their ability to wrestle. <laughs> well, no, well, well, no, it made complete sense. Well, again, also, I think it's a you weren't there uh, kind yeah. of thing Story because remember, sense. like, yeah. like there was a whole thing, and the model had blinded him. And this is back when these storylines took yeah. like six months with the to develop. Ar- with the arrogance, right? With the arrogance yeah. stuff, right? Because because he was eyes. he was the, the only the only he, blindfold match I ever remember is Jamie Noble versus Nidia. Oh, oh that, that, that was so that good. Awesome. Uh, well, no, that no, was no, no, so no. good. No, this, this had the concept because because Jake <laughs> had been blinded and he, he these promos. Nia was blinded too. Nia yeah, got, she got she yeah, got but, in the but face. They blinded him <laughs> and he took off the thing and his eye was all fucked up and <laughs> and he gave these great promos about like about like I don't need the light to see because I'm a fucking reptile or whatever the fuck he said that was so amazing <laughs> and then and then by the way, Sorg. Dead on Jake Roberts. <laughs> Jake was Dead attitude error before on. the attitude error. I'm a dead on. 
<laughs> I, I remember that great Jake Roberts from, I don't need to fucking see I'm a goddamn he's, reptile. He's not, <laughs> yo, he didn't say those words exactly, but he said it with his eyes. But, 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 the they, that were fucked up because he was great. fucking blind. Wouldn't it have been great if he did say those actual <laughs> words? Did you guys ever see Anchorman 2? Anchorman yes. 2, and that's exactly what Jake Roberts said, because I am blind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, is that, is that enough? We All got, right, watch we got... party. We're doing that Jamie Noble and Idiot blindfold. Please, match. It's a good match. please <laughs> totally go ahead. We're doing that match. See you on go Monday. Ahead. See you on Thursday night, everybody. Um, <laughs> match. Mwah. Anything Just, else? Am, we're gonna do it all. Bli- we're gonna do it blindfolded too. We're gonna oh blindfold and watch a blindfold. We're a blindfold we're watch ever. party. We can we can react only to the sounds. <laughs> Sounds like you yeah, really you got him on that the one. Senses, snake. All right, um, Sorg. I only have one more question on my list here. All right, you have a list. Uh, what was it? What was it like to watch Randy Orton shrink over the years? Yeah, it was weird. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, seeing that development was interesting too, because it was like, really, this guy? Like he's so, like he's so crisp now. You know what I mean? Like, like the guy doesn't make a wasted move. Period. He's like a snake. Like a snake. Fuck you, he's a snake. There's the Randy Orton blindfold match. Do you get the RKO out of nowhere on that one? That'd be amazing. <laughs> Goddamn reptile. Just using the force. You know what? A Randy Orton Dean Ambrose blindfold match would work. Well, there's a few. That would work. There's in the, in this day and age, that would fucking work. That would. Um, because Dean would literally just, just be like a fucking berserker. Like he would go around <laughs> punching, would. waiting till he hit something. He would. He would. All right. All right. That's enough. Uh, thank you, Gold. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, keep the convince other people to please to hop in on this kind of stuff. So, so I, I, I think you may have to. Sword. I think you may have to release this gold eventually, just to the public. <laughs> I, I think. Sword. I think we've answered our question. Don't ever watch 30 WrestleManias in one month. Sorg, Sorg's just reporting, well, repeating words now from two minutes ne- ago. Next year, 30, 30, 30 Next year, 31 WrestleManias in a month. Oh, no, I'm, I'm never doing this again. No. Like March has 31 days. days. Yeah, 30 you know what, Sorg? Sorg, when we get to August, I'm going to do every SummerSlam. Have fun. Because that's going to be a lot harder every than WrestleMania. Yeah, every Actually, no, that'll be easier because nothing's four hours. Yeah. So and some we'll, of those summer slams will seem like four hours though. And oh, then I'm we'll sure. interview you, and you will also be a broken show. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, I don't I, know about that. I did work at a job where I had to watch hours true, and hours true. of wrestling. You know, I did consider and look what happened. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I, I did consider for Royal Rumble watching every Royal Rumble match. I watched a lot of them. I, I, I did too. I kind of like nine or ten of them. I kind of jumped around. You know, um, but I, I think about that. Like, you could do every Royal Rumble match, you know, and just I know what do I'm doing that. next February. Yeah. Every fast lane. <laughs> <laughs> All the fast lane. All well, the no, fast you can do lane. something. You know, every, 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 every. on the road to fast lane. <laughs> every extreme rules, road. you know. Every, you know. Every king of the ring. Every game oh, around, it would be fun too. Bobby, Bobby, team up with me. We'll do a blog post next February. Top ten <laughs> fast lane matches in fast. Is it ten wrestling, <laughs> matches? wrestling mayhem show fans, I can't wait to present to you uh, uh, me covering every No Way Out of Texas. Um, <laughs> it's been a great, it's been a great series. I, I want to do every Taboo Tuesday. <laughs> I want to do every Capital Punishment. I can't wait to present with you every Tuesday in Texas. Every St. Valentine's Day match. Every Tuesday. Oh, tell you what, every Tuesday pay per view. Actually, yeah, that's kind. That'd be kind of cool. I think there were three. Oh, three. Okay. I think there were like two, two taboo Tuesdays, and there was Tuesday in Texas. I don't know if they did. And, one. and there was a um. There's another one. Top ten halftime heat. Every UK pay per view. <laughs> there was two oh, the UK pay per views are weird. Yeah, they are there's, weird. They're, yeah. they're, they're not super canon. weird. No, they're not. They're not canon. They are absolutely and, not. And I, I Jackie watched a couple of them. Tits fall out of one of them. I heard one of them. I heard one of them. They don't even have like the full show up for some reason. Like one of them is like the DVD release that had matches cut out. That's only two hours or something. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, no, that's um, uh, what is it? Mayhem in Manchester. Something like oh, that. So like I was reading some. House. I found. I found. I found some kind of what's missing from the network site. But it, it's 
the main event for that show is Undertaker versus Kane, and it's, it's like four days after WrestleMania 14. So it's like four days after the big first ever Undertaker game match. And Undertaker's in, like, street clothes. Like, he didn't even bring his gear. <laughs> he forgot it. Wow. Was that, like, version one of American Badass Undertaker? Is that... No, it was just... I forgot... It was just I forgot. I, it was just I forgot my gear in America. Doctors in Ameri- a polo shirt. <laughs> American beta ass. <laughs> you wow. will. Rest okay. Enough of-